Okay, and that's that's you'll get uh, Melody there at that number, won't you, Bob? Right, and then she just passes them on to us. Very good. Um, you know, I have a question for you, um, and, and I got actually I got a couple questions here from some of the listeners. But one question is that if if the U.S. if the U.S. stock market starts to fall here, um. Are we going to see a resurgence of the U.S. dollar? I mean, is the, is the dollar going to, to strengthen and gold going to fall, or is gold uh, pretty much going to be pretty solid even if even if that occurs? Um, what's going to happen is that the dollar's going down, the market's going down, interest rates are going up, so the bonds will go down from this level, and gold and silver uh, will go up. Okay, and then I've got one question from uh, a listener of ours, uh, and he writes, uh, is now a good time to take a loan out against my home equity line of credit and buy gold coins? Absolutely. But you got to be careful who you do business with. We also recommend coin dealers, and incidentally, uh, we're, and stockbrokers who specialize in gold and silver shares. Incidentally, we never get paid anything by anybody the exception to that are the people who subscribe to the publication. Right, right. So um, let's talk a little bit about um, Ron Paul's HR 1207 for a minute. What uh, what do you foresee happening this month with uh, HR 1207 and, and the Senate Bill S604? Well, first of all, uh, I have a, a piece of a tape a piece in a tape uh, that will go out with Sadie's issue. Uh, we use a lot of uh, links, and that's because uh, I want to get everybody the news, and uh, I can't write about everything uh, doing 30 hours of programming a week besides writing. And so uh, on that tape, Ben Bernanke says, if you pass this legislation, uh, there's going to be chaos. And uh, it's just another one of these extortionist uh, statements by people within government or people who are among the, the elitists, or as they're called, the, the Illuminati. And they just don't care. And they're going to tell you uh, that sort of thing. In fact, uh, when the Treasury was looking to get the $700 billion in TARP funds, uh, they uh, told, uh, Paulson told uh, Congress, if you don't give us that, there'll be chaos. We'll, we'll, we'll completely destroy the system. So this is what we're up against here. We're up against a group of people who are in charge, who are as corrupt as they come, and they're going to destroy the whole system. In fact, they're going to do it anyway. Mm -hmm. But that's their threat. And um, my answer is give it your best shot. Because if you do that, we will hang every one of you and your families. So that's what's going to happen. And they're stuck. They've got to go for it. Mm -hmm. And don't be intimidated by the statements of these people because I'll tell you right now, the military is not going to do what they tell them to do. That's for sure. Well, I agree with you. I agree. And so with that said, um, 1207 will go to the floor. I think there will be additions to it. And I know Bonnie Frank has said he wants to stop the Fed from lending to non-bank companies. And so I would assume that would be in there. Um, but I, I just hope they don't butcher the thing. Uh, it's the only positive thing congressmen have got going for them. Uh, it's uh, lead pipe since the pass in the House, 23 sponsors in the um, in the Senate, so that's got to be worked upon. But the minute they have an audit and an investigation, uh, the things you're going to find are things I write about, but the public doesn't know it. And not unless they listen to programs like this where I tell people exactly what these people are doing. I mean, they're stealing trillions of dollars. Trillions. Mm -hmm. You know, a kid walks into a store 
and robs it for $75 and gets five years. These guys steal tri trillions. And they walk away. And they walk away because there's two sets of justice in America, one for the rich and one for the poor. Mm -hmm. I agree. I, I have a question for you, Bob. We're kind of going over some things here. Give us, give us the big picture here. Give us the big picture of what they're what they're trying to accomplish. I mean, they're they're stealing, they're, they're taking our money, they're taxing the heck out of us, they're they're trying to you know create our children to you know start maybe propaganda and turning against us and starting to you know <laughs> go into this weird third Reich thing kind of thing. Give us a big overview of what of what you your perspective is on what's really going to happen here. Well, I think um, there'll be a great public uproar about these shots. A lot of confusion, a lot of chaos. At least 50% of the people uh, will not take them, maybe more. And um, we're going to have a lot of economic chaos caused by the dollar falling to its low point, which it reached a couple of years ago. And that's going to happen within the next two months. And uh, also... Uh, your your House and Senate have terrible ratings. In fact, the House's rating of approval is 12, 12 percent. And the president, two major polls got him 41, 42 percent, down from 70. And incidentally, we predicted in January it would be 40 in September, October. And nobody listened and everybody laughed. And uh, as usual, we were right. Right. You were right and, on the uh, when you said that, I was I was listening to your shows when you said that, and you were right, dead right on. That was so uh, there's chaos within the political ranks, within the Illuminists. I mean, uh, people know that all the money went to the banks and the brokerage houses and the insurance companies, and nothing went to the public, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And, uh, uh, you know... The whole thing is a giant, giant scam. And it's been promulgated by these same people. And the reason why they're doing it is to bring the public of the world to their knees financially, particularly America and Europe, so that they'll accept world government while these people remain filthy rich and, uh, and in the powerful positions that they're in. And if we can't pass... 1207, if we can't get some of those miscretants out of office next November or a year from November, the game's over. There is no avenue left. Right. Right. And uh, we all know what we have to do. No. Do you think it'll come to that? I mean, Without do, question. Do you, I mean, do you think it's going to come to the American people have to take a stand again? Absolutely. You know, Absolutely, the and, and the police better be on our side, mm -hmm. and the military will be on our side, yeah, I agree and uh, and it will just clean house, Good. put them all in jail, and try them, and hang them. Mm -hmm. It's all treason. Yeah, I agree with you. It is and uh, take all their wealth away from them, and give it to the government, and we can pay off all the bills and all the people we owe. <laughs> They're worth trillions of dollars, these people. <laughs> Let's give it back to the people. <laughs> they deserve it, you know. This is ridiculous. Well, you know, the people are the government, no matter how the government has misused them. I agree. I agree with you. You know, we are the people here, and uh, I, 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 I personally feel we're getting around to the stick. You know, we're we're getting taxed. You know, they're uh, they're wanting to give us flu shots now, which I won't take. There's no way. Uh, they're wanting to do all this other control stuff. Um, another thing that people don't think about, and this is my own personal opinion. Is when my my children were little, you know, anytime a little kid was a little hyper or something, they said, "Oh, you got to put them on this drug to slow them down a little bit." Maybe they were trying it then and it didn't work, but now they have to try something else. So I, I, I agree with you 100 percent on your theories, and I agree with you 100 percent on your comments. I, I think that America needs to, like I said a couple of weeks ago, they need to grow up here. <laughs> we need to take a stand against these guys. It's uh, it's getting uh, it's getting a little ridiculous. But. So, so, Bob, what about the FDIC? You had a little piece in the forecast this week about the FDIC. Um, there's a lot of people with a lot of money in the banks right now. and I, In fact, I got a letter here from uh, a company called First Third Bank, and uh, they're, they're telling us 
I mean, it's a strange letter. I should probably send you a copy of this. And they're basically telling us that the rules are going to change. So if you have more than two hundred fifty thousand dollars in their bank, they they want you to contact them right away. And that is well, that's that, interesting. You know, we're coming up for renewal of the two hundred and fifty thousand dollar insurance per account, and I would suppose they would extend it. But in order to cover one percent of all the deposits under two hundred and fifty thousand dollars the FDIC would have to have $700 billion. And if they get stuck with 3,200 banks going under, that means that they would need $23 trillion. 